Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Edwards uh, Edwards Math Bunker here. Uh, hope er hopefully everybody's staying safe. Hope everybody's doing okay. Um, so I'm going to try to do my best to explain similarity. And, uh, yeah, do the best I can with the circumstances. But, uh, hey, we'll, we'll get through this, right? Um, so what is similarity? We're going to talk a little bit about that today. It's going to be a short little video going over the basics of what this is and how it relates to us in geometry, okay? Um, it's really not that complicated. If you, uh, if you know how congruence works and what congruence is, you already have a head start. Okay, and we'll talk a little bit about the differences between similarity and congruence as well, okay? So, what is similarity? Um, similarity describes a relationship between objects, okay? So in geometry, we typically use it to describe uh, figures, right? Uh, some examples could be polygons. Um, I'm going to start with a real general version of it. So similarity means we're talking about two things that have the same shape. Now you may be saying to yourself, well, wait a second. Uh, we learned about congruency. Congruent objects have the same shape. Yes, but congruent objects also have to be the same size, right? Similar shapes don't necessarily have to be the same size. Um, There's an example of this we could use. So, you know, if anybody's ever put together a model kit, like a model car, a model truck, whatever, model plane, <clears throat> um, you can find those in like hobby stores. There'll be a, a smaller version of, of an existing object. So for example, you can go to a store and buy a model kit for a Mustang, right? A Mustang car. And it'll be, let's say, 1 25th the size of that car. And there's a relationship that exists between that model and the actual object. So let me try to do my best to draw a car. This is actually my second take. The first take, it resulted in a horrendous looking vehicle. So I'll try to make it look less horrendous. So let's say we have a car. It's extremely blocky. Okay. Now let's go about there. There we go. There we go. Look, it's, it's a really, really uh, beautiful car. Look at that thing. Gorgeous, right? <laughs> so that's our car. All right. Don't judge. Look, person driving it. Yeah, look at that. Little steering wheel. Boom. Look at that. Okay. So that's our actual car. We're going to call this the. Uh, the Edwards 2.0. All right, there we go. New model. Look out at Elon Musk. All right, so that's our new vehicle here. Okay. Now let's say, uh, let's say Susie goes to the store and buys a kit of this uh, of this vehicle. This real hot new vehicle, the Edwards 2.0. And we're going to say that it's actually a pretty large kit. It's a uh, it's one of those gigantic, expensive kits. And it's going to be half the size of this. So that would mean the kit would actually have all the same elements, and the relationship would be the same amongst all parts of this vehicle. So if it's half the size, we're going to say that the model is actually going to be half the size. That actually, that's important because we're talking about the scale factor. Now, scale factor is a numerical value that describes the relationship between two similar shapes. We're going to get back to that in a second. So the scale factor we're going to say to go from the large to the small will be one half. So the, uh, the other version will be half the size. So let's look at this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. So it's half the size. That means this should be what? Three blocks, right? So one, two, three. That's gonna get a little it's gonna get a little hairy here, so just just bear with me. The vehicle is three blocks high, so we're gonna go one one and a half blocks high. This little compartment here is three, so we're gonna go one and a half. Okay, so far so good. <clears throat> this is one block, so we're gonna go half a block down. You can see where we're going here, right? This is this is this is kind of interesting. It's, it's literally half the size. It kind of looks like a Tetris block if you ever played Tetris. Now these wheels are a little tricky. It's going to be really hard to make these wheels accurate. So I'm going to do the best I can. Uh, yeah, we're not going to get into circle size and half a circle size. We'll do the best we can there. And this should be one half. And this should be one. So we're going to say this is two. So it's going to be one across and one half down. Okay, and then the person. So we just successfully created a model that's half the size of that. All these elements are half the size. Now, why is that important? Well, there's proportionate relationships that exist between, let's say, the height of the vehicle and the length of the vehicle, or the size of the window and the height of the vehicle. There's all these, these really cool relationships that exist, okay? And I'm going to show you a, a way we can apply that in geometry, okay, uh, in the next video. This is just kind of like the idea of what it is. Now, if you were to take the length of this vehicle, you could apply the scale factor and apply the length of the model, which we'll get to. But this is like the first part of it, all right? So if you have any questions about this, feel free to ask myself or any of the math teachers. We'll be sharing this out, and we'll do the next video in a second.